Hey guys, I missed last week's episode, and I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean to. I really didn't want to, but I was just too busy. I will make it up to you, I promise. But let's start this episode. As you can tell by the title, you know what we're going to look at. So, ooh, look at the new build of Windows. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so this is the new build of Windows. There's a lot that's similar, and then there's a lot that's different. So let's take a look at it. The lock screen is the same. However, there is a different one that you can enable through a bunch of complicated settings, but I'm not going to do that because it's very buggy right now and it really messes up my computer. Um, I'm not sure if they're planning on making that the default and the final release, but this is still the same as Windows 8. So you can see here we have the desktop. If you'll notice the taskbar, these buttons... Actually, ignore this half. These buttons are a lot smaller now and I honestly don't like that I don't know why they chose to do that hopefully they change it back I've already left a bunch of comments about it and I see other people have said similar things so hopefully they put it back for the next build but that is something that's different the I can't remember if there was still transparency in the last build on the taskbar um, I feel like there was. If there was, then it's gone now. If not, then it's still gone. I will I will show you the new Windows full screen apps. I will show you right So the the apps uh the the modern apps, I guess they're called now. Um this is how they open up now. And you can see, so the title bar is different, and you can see that the Explorer windows, oh boy, oh here we go, the Explorer windows look different too, and no longer looks like Windows 8, I like the Windows 8 look better, wow, you can't see me, eh, 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 eh. I like the Windows 8 look a lot better. I, again, I've left comments, but I don't think they're going to change it. I think this is the way they want it to be, but I'm not sure. The modern apps, they're the, met, the modern, yeah, the modern apps have these three lines. This is where you get your formerly charms bar commands. And then is minimize, maximize, full screen, and close. So now the full screen button just makes it full screen like Windows 8. You can bring it back down, and you can close it out. It's very easy. Now, the charms bar is gone. You can't get it even on touch screen anymore. It's, it's gone. They do, however, now have an action center, a notification center, whatever you'd like to call it. So, and you get these quick settings down here, which is very, very nice. I like that a lot. And they did a really good job with this notification center. They really did. Um, now, I want to show you the left side of the... the uh, task bar. Task view is absolutely the same. I'm not going to show you because it's exactly the same. But there's two big things that are different in this build. The start menu has been redone and Cortana is in. So I'll show you the start menu first. So if I click on it, so this is it. It has a little bit of a different look. And I can click this expands button and make it full screen like the Windows 8 start menu. And then or the Windows 8 start screen, and it opens up full screen, but it still looks like the start menu. And I think that's really cool for people that really like or are used to the start screen, plus then people that have surfaces or other convertible PCs that go into tablet mode, that's what that's for. And I think they did a really good job with it. That's really good. Other than that, not a whole lot different with the start menu. Uh, it looks very similar to what it did in the previous build. So, I think we're about done with that. Now, Cortana is in. Now, Cortana's been on Windows Phone, and now it's on Windows. Take notes, Apple. So, here, they put it on the taskbar, and you can either... There's three ways you can use Cortana. You can type into it. You just click in the text box. It's very, it's very buggy still. So, just keep that in mind as I'm showing you this. You can click into the text box and start typing... And that, 
that's also how you search your computer. So what I really just did was search the computer, but you can type commands into Cortana. You, you are able to do that, but that's how you search the computer. You can also click the microphone button. Hi Cortana. Okay, Android has OK Google. Apple has Hey Siri, but only when plugged in. And Windows has Hey Cortana. How are you today? Great, thanks. So you can trip it with your voice. Does Cortana need more work? Yes, she does, because she's very beta. But what she can do already is great, and I know she's only going to get better. So I'm really glad they included Cortana in this build. She's really good. Like I said, sometimes she doesn't work as great as she should or will work in the final release. But she's beta. This is beta. But it's still good. All right, guys. That's my time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a few days. I'm going to do two episodes this week to make up for last week. So see you in a few days. I'm thinking maybe Wednesday. So check back with me midweek. I'm Joe Green, and I'll see you Wednesday.